Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate St. Mary Magdalene Penitent. St. Mary Magdalene was originally from Magdala in Galilee. Magdala is a little town near the Sea of Galilee where Jesus spent most of his time in his, during his public ministry. St. Mary uh, Magdalene was known as a, a sinner, uh, a public sinner, but she met Jesus and uh, she changed her life. She was converted to the love of Christ and she had an important role in Jesus' life and in the apostolic church. She was present in two important moments of Jesus' life. First of all, she was a witness on Calvary at Jesus' death. She was with Our Lady at the foot of the cross. And also, the other moment, very much important, was at the resurrection of Jesus. She was the first among the disciples to see Jesus. The first, but of course, after our Lady, because we do believe and can be sure that the very first person who saw Jesus after his resurrection was his mother. This is the reason why Our Lady was not present among the women going to the sepulchre on the day of the resurrection, the day after the Sabbath. But among the disciples, Mary of Magdala was the first to see Jesus. And she uh, eventually recognized Jesus when Jesus said, uh, called her name uh, Maria. And she said, Rabboni, which means master. And she was entrusted with an important mission. Go to my brethren, go, go to the cenacle and tell my apostles that I am alive. I am the risen Lord. She had the task then to announce the apostles, to announce Peter, uh, James, John, uh, the, the mystery of Jesus' resurrection. This is a great task, of course. For this reason, there is a, a tradition calling Mary Magdalene the Apostle of Apostles, a woman who was able to let the apostles know the pillar uh, foundations of the Church about the most central mystery of our faith. This is because Mary of Magdala was a great herself, disciple of our Lord. And we know the reason why she loved Jesus so much, because as Jesus himself says in today's Holy Gospel, she loved much because she was forgiven much. Today's Holy Gospel in this uh, festivity of St. Mary Magdalene is from St. Luke's Gospel, the chapter 7, the parable uh, told to Simon the Pharisee about two debtors who had a great debt but uh, none of them was able to extinguish that debt. They were both forgiven. The debt was just cancelled by, by the creditor. Uh, one had to pay back a great amount of money. The other one, a less amount, uh, uh, less amount of money. But uh, the, the question Jesus uh, asks in this gospel is to Simon, which of the two loved the master more? And uh, Simon answered, I suppose, the one to whom the master forgave 
more. And Jesus says, you are right, this is the case. The one who was more forgiven is more now loving his master. And this is the case with Mary of Magdala. She was much forgiven. This is the reason why she loved Jesus very much. And in response to this uh, love, Jesus entrusted her with this important mission to be the first among his disciples to have seen him risen and to announce the apostles, the church, all other people that Jesus was risen. Let us conclude, dear brethren, this uh, reflection by saying when we speak of Mary of Magdala, as the one who loves Jesus much, because she has much been uh, forgiven, we might easily conclude, and some people unfortunately do, that the more we sin, the more we are forgiven. And then the more we love, the more we sin, the more we love. And this is an excuse to, be, to remain sinful people in order to embrace more Jesus' mercy. No. Mary of Magdala loved much because she was forgiven much. The, the proportion is between forgiveness and love. It is not about sin and love. Sin is always a sin. Sin remains something bad to avoid. What is important is to repent of that sin and to ask for forgiveness. The more, of course, if we have sinned, we are aware of our sinful life and we ask for forgiveness. But the point is to be forgiven, to ask for that forgiveness, to be humble, to be forgiven, so that we can start to love. So Mary of Magdala loved much because she was aware of the gift she received, of that forgiveness. Saint Therese of uh, the little Jesus, the little Therese, wanted in her life in such a way, in a very uh, particular way to reverse, so to speak, this uh, even proportion between forgiveness and love. She wanted to love more, to love much, not just because she was forgiven much, she was, we could say, an innocent in, so, in some way, an innocent person who entered very early uh, religious life. She wanted to say, I want to love much for the sake of love, not just for the sake of being forgiven. So this is another way to say that love is, is love, and uh, love does not grow because of sin. Sin is never the cause to love more. Sin has to be avoided. The cause to love more is to appreciate the love of God. And we do it when we realize that we are sinful people in need of love, in need of mercy and forgiveness. May St. Mary Magdalene pray for us and give us a little bit of her charity towards Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.